So this is a video that is going to show you what kind of setups required to do a, a seven ball force bounce or an elaborate force bounce pattern from an elevated platform off of a roll of bola and do that in a way that's like safe. So what you see me setting up here is actually five or six different pieces. So on the bottom you'll see there's a bench and over time I added the uh, rails onto the side. After the rails I added you can see there's a little horizontal piece on the bottom that stops the whole bench from tipping forward and back. And I added that first foot of height so that I'd be comfortable. And that gets me not just on the floor doing roller bola where you see the first five and six and seven ball records I set were actually on the floor. It was safer. Um, but to add the time I need to get more balls in I needed to go vertical. You always add height um, and the most recent addition to that, as you see, I added another set of rails on the outside so I could go a foot up. And um, eventually, okay, here I am. So there are four parallel tracks going on in a seven ball force bounce pattern. The balls are traveling on the outside, right and left. And then they cross, alternating like a zipper, and then they're traveling on the inside coming up. And if you look down at the bottom of the floor, there's somewhere between one diameter and two diameters of balls clearance left and right. And all the balls are traveling in the same plane. So if left, right, there's a problem, they're going to collide. And then all that set up. So I have the extra rails in order to go the extra foot so I could go up a foot. I'm standing on top of two feet with a roller bola makes it almost three feet tall when I'm standing on top of the board of the roller bola. I needed to add that foot or I wasn't going to have anything to catch if I needed to stop or collect the balls. I have a bag that has 40 balls in it so I don't have to climb up and down to train. Um, and I so if I was going to train a foot higher I needed to have rails that were a foot higher. I take them off because where I normally train during the week this is three out of the four practices I do or I'm in a space that doesn't have the ceiling. I, this is a nine and a half foot ceiling. In my house, I only have an eight foot ceiling. 